Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will try to understand this very important interview question that is being frequently asked these days. That is difference between set action versus parameter action. So first, let us try to understand by definition you know, what is the purpose of this, what do we do and all. So first, if I start with the parameter, okay. So first, we'll try to understand the behavior of these two, right? What is in general, if you say parameter, what do we say, right? Okay, it is for adding interactivity, right? That is one thing we do. Or what we will tell that, okay, it is global in nature, right? That is what we will tell again, global in nature. Or again, we will know that you know, it, it allows single select, right? Or we'll have value list in this, right? So this is parameter. So, but what are the use cases of parameter? If we talk, what do we do? Maybe, you know, we can use it in filter shelf right we can use it in calculated field or maybe we can use it for you know sheet swapping something like this kind of general or generic scenarios that are there for parameter right so general let's like say we'll have list and all based on that some and we'll add some calculation to make uh, this parameter interact with other sheets or other calculations uh, in the view right then what is set action or what is set rather we all know that set is a conditional object primary difference conditional object whereas parameter is not a conditional object right so what does this do conditional means what based on some condition that you are allowing like say top five based on them some condition right or bottom 10 basing on some condition or you want to update uh, the list or you know create the list basing on some condition then again that is another scenario so what is the primary difference between those if, if we understood this is for adding the interactivity uh, global in nature it allows single select values in the list and these are the different use cases for uh, parameter where a set is a conditional object right basing on some condition that you are trying to you know filter the data or update the view and all now same thing if you try to add a parameter action to this what are the possibilities now you might be able to you know uh, connect the dots here parameter action means what so what do we do in parameter we will create as a list right we all know that as a list now with some conditions or with actions in parameter, we will be able to update this list while keeping or while retaining the original behavior of parameter, like say single select option, right? That So this is what parameter action will do, updating your parameter. How do you want that to be dynamic in nature? How do you want that to be interactive? So this all actions can be taken using parameter action set actions means what same your conditional object is getting updated using again you know basing on some clicks that you are trying to do at the base level okay that is the primary difference now i think you know or you will be able to answer you know this type of question if it comes in the interview now if with respect to scenario if i speak okay i've created two scenarios for all of you to understand so what i have done is i want to select a region dynamically Okay, and whatever the region I select, I want that region to be passed on to my parameter and that basing on that, I am trying to display the sales. That is what I'm trying to do. So what did I do first here? If I go to my sheet level, I'll try to explain. So first I have created a parameter. So initially when I create this parameter, it will be blank for me. Okay, I'm not adding anything. If you see here, there is no list of values. So empty parameter I have created, done. Because uh, what is our intention based on the region that you are selecting from any other sheet, I want that region to be passed on to this. And basing on that, it should display sales. So if I select central, this central will be passed on to my parameter value and then it will be displayed. So step one, okay, I'll write the steps here. And I'll write it as implementation of parameter. Step one, create a parameter. So no matter you are creating a set parameter or you know this, uh, sorry, set action or this one, first we need to create set there. And here we need to create parameter. So it would be an empty parameter. 
okay next what we need to write some condition on that so what did what is the condition i have written okay if region is equal to select region means what region is our field that is coming from my database right and select region is the field that is coming from our parameter if you see here this one so when this is matching then give me sales is what i'm trying to tell but we will get sales uh, region or in this parameter when do we get from actions you will try to get right now what i have done i have created another sheet with just region name because i want to pass these values so now i'll go to dashboard and i have arranged these two now what did i do i'll go to dashboard i'll go to actions we'll create an add action here and we need to create a change parameter okay so what i'll do go here edit okay basing on my select sheet so this sheet that we have added on top right which has only region is my sheet too when i add that what is the target parameter select region if you remember this is the parameter that we have created so i'm just selecting that and source field like region right so you can write that and click ok now click ok now if i pass this central observe this parameter this value that we are clicking is passed on to this so once we get this value in the parameter automatically sales will be displayed central we got it east you see here parameter is east and only for east it is sales south it is for sales west it is for this okay so that is your parameter action you are updating the parameter list here or you are updating a value in the parameter okay the same thing so what are the steps we need to create empty parameter okay and then uh, write a calculation using uh, the empty parameter and dependent field from the view use set action sorry use parameter actions and update the values accordingly based on dependent fields okay so remember this is steps you will not make any mistake okay so whenever you are implementing a parameter use case second one is a set set means what again conditional object i said so i've created another scenario for this set so what i have done is maybe top and i'm trying to find out right but here i want to pass this n value dynamically i want to pass this value dynamically so what is my top n let us see okay top n is also a value here and if i go to rank sales okay so maybe this is again a value that we are trying to do maybe for this whatever the value here we will enter basing on that it will try to show me okay so again this one two three four and all five you can use another sheet to pass the value same like our parameter value here okay so maybe sheet four yeah so i've created another uh, set action use case which will highlight based on the subcategory that i select like say if i select this only this will come under selected see all others are unselected items observe the legend here so how are we doing here again so what is something that we need to understand so first is a set subcategory right so we will see first what is a set subcategory that we have done okay so if subcategory in selected subcategory set so selected subcategory set is something that i have created on top of my subcategory item so simple i've created here okay so i've created a set on top of what my subcategory item again i'm not selecting anything if you observe blank set okay but where are we passing the values from on the click we are trying to pass the value which means my list is getting updated right basing on that so now what i'll do i'll have created a calculation right after creating uh a set all we need to do is 
write the calculation if subcategory in selected subcategory which means whatever the category is coming in based on the set that we have created then highlight that as selected all others will be as unselected now when i select this our set actions or our drop down is getting updated and basing on that it is trying to display okay so we can also use this uh, in the view or maybe i can use this also in the view you see only this object we are getting that way i can use okay i've also done another scenario where i want to display top five sales based on the category that i'm getting okay i need top five states basing on the category item that i'm selecting like say example furniture i'm selecting so i need to get to top five states so what is happening in this use case my state uh, set that is there is getting updated based on this value that i'm trying to pass okay so here if you observe what did we do we have used our set uh, subcategory or set calculations in the color shelf but whereas here if you observe i have used my set state in the view i hope you are following me okay so now we will see how we have done so i'm just going to edit this calculation to show you so if category set then give me state okay so in state what i have done if i go to state here okay this is something that you need to do i need top five but basing on what sales for a selected category so we are using sales for selected category which means what sales for selected category now see here if category in a category set which means i have another set that i have created on category so basing on whatever the category that i am selecting here that category will be passed on to my category set right so i will get only that category which means if i say, assume i am selecting furniture only your furniture will be passed on to my category set right then i need to get sales on that but if you remember our state it is de dependent on this field okay so just bring that into view and once you click go to sorry go to worksheet actions i've added an action here based on my category set you know assign or remove values whatever you want to you can do that the category set is this thing we have created okay now if i click on this furniture furniture value is passed on to my category set and based on this calculation that we have written select for sub category this thing or uh, set a state we are getting the value okay. for this from this category set will be passed on to this and basing on that states will be displayed and here basing on that calculation we are getting the value so you have to use it wisely to get this okay so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you have got some clarity in difference between parameter action versus set action if you need this worksheet that i've created do let me know i'll you know comment in the pin section if anyone is needed that's it from my side see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day